so the sun is out and shining here. It's cold, but like, I feel like it's been gloomy. Let me just open my shades up all the way. I feel like it's been so gloomy and just dark and it is bright and I feel really happy about it. So anyway, I actually filmed this video before and then my camera, the microphone wasn't working. So I'm gonna redo it. So I'm going to film everything first trimester. Honestly, for me, this is my um, first baby. So I was completely overwhelmed and I didn't really know what to expect and I just wanted to like find information from anyone that I could. And so I looked up a lot of YouTube videos like this and it was so helpful. So I decided that I would do one. So I'm currently in my third trimester, literally starting today. So um, I have a, a half a, this belly happening. Ooh. And I can't believe that I have like three months, technically, that I have to grow. I'm not sure where or how my skin is gonna do that, but I guess we'll see. It's been done before. The first thing you do when you find out you're pregnant, I downloaded an app. So for me, I used Ovia to get pregnant. Um, so then it just has an option of Ovia pregnancy, which I then downloaded, and it tells you a bunch of cute stuff like how big your baby is. So today it's saying my baby's the size of coconut, and then it shows you how big like on the screen the hand is now, which is crazy. In the beginning, you check this app every day. In the beginning, like major things are happening. <laughs> like he's starting to get arms. Things like that. I mean, it gives you some information on how you should be feeling, on what the baby's doing, and it'll give you like a little video. And I also use Pregnancy Plus. Pregnancy Plus gives you like a real life kind of image of what the baby looks like at that moment. Sorry about the glare. And then the other thing that I got, and I really haven't used it much, but it is really cute, is this Baby Story app. So I'm 27 weeks, so according to this, I'm an eggplant, or he's an eggplant, which is this pretty much the size I feel like he's been for like the past four weeks. I feel like my apps have said that. But anyway, if you wanted to, you can take that sticker, back to the glare, sorry, and place it anywhere that you want, make some cute little pictures with it, send it to your family, whatever you wanna do. Firstly, I'll go over how you feel, you're tired, you're really tired, just sleep. It's like a really great excuse to just sleep. Your husband and maybe your immediate family knows that you're pregnant, so I think they should just be like, yeah, go take a nap. I know that some of my friends said that they liked hiding the fact that they were pregnant and having like this little secret with their significant other, but for me, I'm a loud mouth and I just wanted to tell everybody, but at the same time, there are reasons, good reasons not to, and I told the people that I would tell if I had a miscarriage. So I told my parents, I told my brothers, and I told my husband. And then eventually we told Colby's family. It stinks because you're hiding it at the same time as you're so excited, you're so nervous. I mean, so I work as a makeup artist and when I would be on set, I always, everyone looks forward to lunch. And I remember I would sit there and not eat and <laughs> they would be like, What's the matter? And I'm like, I don't know. I just don't feel good right now. And I'm sure some people had some ideas because there's only so much you can do to hide it. But for me to hide it, it was all about the clothes I wore. A lot of people can just wear their regular clothes the entire time. And I don't get it because for me, I have had to buy them first, second, and I'm going into my third today and I am grown out of everything. I have like two outfits I could still wear. Um, so... I'll go into that later in a different video. So I had I had a, a bump, I would say eight weeks. And for me, like it might have not been noticeable. Other people might have just been like, you're looking a little chubby. Or maybe thinking that in their head and not saying it. But buckling my pants like really, really bothered me and they got really, really tight very quickly. I actually bought my first maternity pants when I was in my first trimester. When I'm on set, I don't, I feel like uncomfortable if I'm wearing shorts, I just, I like to wear black jeans, 
and something like that. So I purchased, I love ASOS, I love their jeans, and I'm only five foot, so I always get petite, and they had petite maternity jeans. So I got the below the belly ones, because what happens is it puts like a little bit of a stretch band instead of a button. So that's what I would wear, and that's how I got away with it. Because I could wear a flowy shirt and those below the belly jeans and be totally fine. It depends on what time of the year it is. If you are in your first trimester in the summer, you are lucky because you can just wear flowy dresses the whole time. I was like the end of summer and then it started to get chilly. So I wore a lot of flowy dresses. Brought some examples. So this is just like a flowy dress from Target. And I would wear this. When it got a little bit chillier, I wore this one from Forever 21. It has long sleeves. And then I would wear like a loose tank top, a loose shirt, and looser shorts than I maybe would normally wear. And I was feeling just like wide and not like myself. And I wanted to hide that, so I would wear a button-down shirt open, even if I was just wearing like a tank top under it all the time. Or I would wear the button-down shirt closed, but it hides a lot with the belly, which is great. That was summer into fall, so it wasn't quite cold enough to wear like a nice big hoodie or a sweatshirt or anything like that, any sweaters. So for me, it was like flowy dresses and then button-down shirts. And let's not forget a new bra. I went out and bought, I think, two new bras from Target because I was just busting out. I just looked ridiculous. By the end of the first trimester, I was just busting out of my bra. I was so uncomfortable. It was like squeezing me and it just looked I just looked weird. So go and buy a couple new bras. Throughout the pregnancy, you want to feel comfortable. So just make yourself comfortable. Whatever it takes. He's kicking me right now. So you're tired. I touched on tired. You're trying to hide the secret. Talked about that with clothing. Um, with drinks. Okay, so with drinks, I did a lot of club soda and cranberry juice. And my friend, she would be, um, if she went to like a work event, she would go up ahead of time and ask for cranberry juice in a wine glass and people would just assume she's drinking wine. You can really get creative here and you can go to the restaurant ahead of time, talk to the server and say, every drink that you make me, just make it non-alcoholic. I never ended up doing anything like that. And you'd be surprised at how much, even when, at least for me, people were expecting us to get pregnant or try to be, get pregnant they still weren't really paying attention. So you'd be surprised at how much you can get away with. In my first trimester, I was craving lunch meat. I never eat lunch meat. I really don't. I don't eat like processed food that much. But I wanted everything bad. Anything that was healthy, if I looked at a salad, I would get so nauseous. I was lucky, really, really lucky. I never threw up, but I was pretty much nauseous throughout the day when it came to food, especially healthy food. So the only thing I could eat was mac and cheese, and grilled cheese, and then I would get these random cravings like for lunch meat, and I remember I microwaved it. I did this one time, but I microwaved the lunch meat, and it was disgusting. I don't know. Now thinking about it, I can't even think about eating that, but that's what I wanted at the time. Just like, yeah, I didn't eat anything healthy in my first trimester, and I'm a pretty healthy person. If you're in that boat, you have to eat. Just eat. Take your prenatals and try to do smoothies. I could do fruit. So I would do smoothies and then I would kind of like sneak in some spinach into the smoothie um, or try to put in greens that way where you're not really tasting it but you're getting something healthy. So yeah, you're getting the calories of the mac and cheese and all that. Um, but that's okay. Just try to get in something healthy for the baby as well. I can't give a lot of advice on you being nauseous. I, I feel like I didn't have it bad enough to give really good advice. When I was nauseous, I drank ginger tea. I ate a, a candy, usually like a hard candy or a citrus fruit, like an orange. Um, and I smelled a lot of peppermint essential oil. I love essential oils and the peppermint did it for me. So anytime I was feeling nauseous, I just would like keep the peppermint oil with me. They even make these necklaces where you can do a little lava stone and put the peppermint oil on there. We could put any oil on there, but I thought that would have been great for the first trimester. So speaking of prenatals, I loved my prenatal. Some people said they had to go through a bunch of different prenatals because um, they would make 
it would make them nauseous. And it's funny, vitamins usually on a day-to-day -day basis when I'm not pregnant make me nauseous. But I started out right away with the vitamin code raw prenatal by Garden of Life. And I don't know if it's because there's ginger in this, but it I didn't throw up the whole time and I loved this and I, it didn't make me nauseous at all. Now you have to take it three times a day, which in the beginning I was really good at and I, I hate saying this, but now it's usually more like twice a day because I usually forget one. But um, So it's raw, gluten-free, vegetarian, and then dairy-free. And it has every, it has a raw organic fruit and veggie blend, anything you can think of. It has um, ginger root and a prenatal digestive comfort blend organic sprout blend, and then all of the vitamins that you can need. Folate, magnesium, zinc, um, calcium, vitamin C. So I loved this stuff, and I would highly recommend it. Water. You're going to have to start drinking a shit ton of water. I was looking out the window deciding if I should use the word that I naturally wanted to use, which was shit ton. But you're going to have to drink a lot of water. I got this and I have these little glass straws. I just think honestly water tastes a lot better in glass, but it's also better for you. I always have this. I fill it up throughout the day constantly. Put lemon water in it if you want to and just drinking water out of a straw makes you drink it. Like this is good for me because I didn't want to carry around anything huge, but some people get something really big to make sure they can see how much water they're doing. I think this is like 16 ounces, so I just kind of pay attention to how many of these I've drank throughout the day, and it's been great. Okay, exercise. I'm just gonna be real with you. We were pregnant before this one, and I had a miscarriage, so I was terrified to do anything. I was like terrified to move. And I don't exercise a lot anyway. I'm not gonna pretend I'm that person. It's very sporadic for me. I like to do a yoga class here and there. I like to do a bar class here and there. Love to take walks when it's nice out, but I'm not like, um, let's go for a run. Or like, I'm so excited to go to bar class. I'm actually like sitting there waiting for the time to be over. But it is important and it does make me feel so much better. But, I, but yeah, I just was too scared to do much in my first trimester. So I took a lot of walks, long walks. Um, and then you can, and, I, and again, I didn't do this in my first trimester, but prenatal yoga, I would just look it up on YouTube and do prenatal yoga at the house or go to a class if you have one around. Um, or if you're big into exercising and you're not scared, do you. I was just really scared. But exercise is good. Registry. I started my registry in my first trimester. I'm just like, I get really excited. I like to visualize everything in my head. I like to plan it out. And because of the miscarriage and we weren't telling anyone, I, I didn't feel real. I think like I was scared to be excited about it. And my parents were a little bit scared to be excited early on. So it just didn't feel like it was happening in my first trimester. So the way that I, I needed to like make it feel real is on my own. I would sit and I would I would pick out baby clothes and pick out baby gear and do research and I started the registry. Obviously I didn't send it to anyone but that really made me feel like it was something that was actually happening. So I started my baby registry in the first trimester. You absolutely don't have to do that but that's what I did. So essential oils. I'm just going to touch on this because it's like a unique topic people feel very different ways about this it's nice so it's just nice to be able to use the oils for certain things like when you have a headache you can roll something cooling on your temples um, again I use the peppermint oil for smell in the first trimester I'm not gonna really like get into it too much but I just wanted to touch on that it was a really nice thing for me to use the essential oils and I have not used a single bit of medicine the entire time I have been pregnant, so it's been good so far. Even just um, doTERRA has On Guard, which is something that's supposed to keep you from getting sick, so putting that on all the time. In my first trimester, I couldn't tell somebody who was sick that I was doing makeup for that I'm pregnant, and I'd rather not do their makeup, so I just loaded on that On Guard. 
yeah, I have to say essential oils have been really helpful during this pregnancy for me. I just want to show you my favorite pregnancy book because I used the app mostly, but then um, I did get what to expect when you're expecting, and it was so overwhelming. I just looked at it once and never picked it up again. But a friend of mine, shout out to Jackie, she told me about this one, which is the Mama Natural book. I feel like it's natural, but it's not like over the top. They have some food you can eat, an affirmation for every week, but at the same time, it's like very basic info as well. And in the back, it tells you what you can expect during labor and all these kind of little things that, I don't know, I just feel like this, bu this book touched on everything. I really, really liked it, and I would absolutely recommend this to a friend. So thank you so much. I hope that you have enjoyed my first trimester tips and tricks. Um, I was completely lost in the beginning and like I said, these videos really helped me. So I wanted to make sure I did one. I'm going to try to do one for my second trimester and then my third. We'll see how that goes when I have a newborn baby though. Thanks a lot for watching and I hope you have a good day.